For the past 11 years, Catlitzburg has hosted a career fair at the refinery for area 8th graders. Originally the brainchild of the refinery's diversity team, the original goal for hosting the career fair was to show students some of the career paths and employment opportunities that are available to them right in their own backyard. A lot of kids around here, it's a small town, they say, hey, when I grow up, I want to go to the big city. So then we started thinking, how do we pique that interest in, in students? Most people in this area don't really know the jobs we have available. So we came up with the idea of this career fair. We decided to go with eighth graders for a couple of reasons. One, we wanted to spark their interest in the math and sciences and the different jobs that we had available here. But two, in the ninth grade, it starts counting for good with their grade point average. We thought the eighth grade was the, the way to start, and we've kept that for, for over a decade now with eighth graders. What we get out of hosting the career fair is the opportunity to interact with our community's youth, and we're going to bring in about 3,000 eighth graders again this year, and give them the opportunity to see not just who we are at Marathon and meet some of our employees, but also look at some of the career opportunities, both technical and non-technical and the uh, craft positions available to somebody as they work their way through high school and uh, determine where they want to take their lives. The refinery holds the career fair each spring over a two and a half week period in an effort to include students from multiple schools in the tri-state area of Ohio, Kentucky, and West Virginia. Between planning, preparation, and actually staffing the stations, the career fair involves more than 200 refinery employees. This year, students rotated through 16 different stations throughout the career fair, learning about potential careers in operations, engineering, accounting, procurement, fire and rescue, the laboratory, and much more. New in recent years is an additional booth staffed by the diversity and inclusion team, which focuses on bullying and the importance of how to treat one another, a topic which has resonated with eighth graders. This career fair was really great for a lot of our students. It showed them um, a lot of career path and opportunities that they can go into and gave them kind of more of an idea about what it really is. One of the really big booths that they talked about was the workplace booth where it talked about how we treat other people. I think that that was one that had an impact on them and it will impact them later too because it has to do with their career. A lot of them loved the fire and rescue, it was exciting. They got to go in the fire truck and they got to um, actually do some different things in that. Um, and then they also liked the booths that taught them about things they can do when they get older. The operator booth was a big one. They liked knowing that there's a program out there that's two years that can give them a great job. They really were interested in that. Some of the best love booths by the kids are always those that are the most hands-on and interactive. Our product control booth is definitely one of those. They get to use an actual procedure just like we do in the plant to figure out which valves to turn and which sequence to move product from one tank to another. So they really enjoy that. Security is another uh, best love booth because they get to use high tech cameras and zoom way in on their teachers around the room. Our engineering booth is also another top hitter because they get to build bridges this year and we've heard several kids mention how much they love that. Our fire and rescue booth is another one that kids always love because it's so interactive. They get to lift a mannequin on a stretcher and kind of uh, simulate an accident in that respect and they get to also go out to the fire truck and don some of the gear and get on the truck and you know make the sirens go. So that's always um, fun for kids. The original goal of hosting the career fair, that of highlighting local employment opportunities, has also come full circle. The inaugural attendees of the career fair are now in their mid-twenties, and two Catlitzburg refinery engineers are among them. I attended the first career fair here at the refinery in 2008. I was an eighth grader at Verity Middle School in Ashland. I was really excited to get a day off of school, to come by and, you know, come on a little field trip, see what the area had to offer. I was excited to be here. I saw a lot of interesting booths. I remember playing the lemonade game. I remember you know, some of the other exciting booths and just getting to, to explore with, with my classmates at the time. And it really opened my eyes to some of the possibilities uh, here at the refinery and within our area. So I think the importance that the, the Career Fair has for our whole community is it's a great community outreach program. 
it gets not only the eighth graders involved, but it gets the counselors, the principals show up now because they want to see the career fair. And as a matter of fact, sometimes these principals say, hey, I will only authorize one field trip a year and that's going to be the marathon career fair for the eighth graders. So that, that's, that's a plus for us. But it gets us out in the community. It, it helps to, to get all these students interested again and, and re, I guess re-energize into the math and sciences. And, and it's a great community event. As you can see, we've, we've gotten a lot of publicity from it too. So we get a lot of great articles in the paper or the TV stations cover us every year. And, and frankly, it, uh, it's a good neighbor thing for us to do as a refinery.